Can't believe the view. It is brilliant. I'm just setting up my camera. Just put my 100 mil on, just to try and get a good view of it. So I'm just gonna basically take a few shots as portrait mode. When you move the camera like this, just let it sit for about a second or two before you take the next photo. Because the camera shakes, you don't see it because it's very minute, but the camera does shake. Move that around a bit more. And that is looking pretty good. Well, I've moved to a different entrance of a farm now. Just doing a quick time lapse of the sun rising with the mist. Hopefully you see the mist sort of float around a little bit as it starts disappearing. It's about time to stop it really now. So whilst I'm going to do that, I'll stop it and show you where these settings are. So that's the time lapse I've just done. That's the camera, Canon 80D. Um, brilliant little camera, not too expensive but not cheap either. Brilliant for time lapses. Uh, I've used it quite a few times. If you go on my website or watch my other clips on the YouTube channel, you will see a fair few trial time lapses I've done. Not as many as I'd like to do. I'd like to get around to doing more, which hopefully this year I'll be able to do. Click menu. You will see interval timer. This is under the camera setting page four or setting four, tab four, whichever you want to call it. Click on where it's all touch screen, click on there. Now if you click enable, you've got the details here, interval. I had that set at two seconds just a minute ago. Number of shots, I always leave it unlimited. I'll let it run for however long I need to. Uh, usually one about 15, 20 seconds of footage. At least then you know you can pick the best sort of five seconds. Personally, any more than five seconds on a time lapse, I'll start getting bored. So to set it, all you do is where it's got info and detail set click on that and that's got all your settings on there hours minutes seconds so all you do is click on the one you want to change and then up or down and then when you want to go to the next change it to that next change it to that if you want to change the number of shots it only goes to 99 shots anyway hence why if you need to do 240 shots bit of a waste of time but it's good if you just let it click away 99 times to get that ideal landscape shot where the sun's in the perfect place and you don't have to sit there pressing the button over and over again. I've bought myself a cheapy little remote which is brilliant just saves you clicking the button on the camera which can make the camera start to sort of shake around and sort of slightly exaggerated but shake around and you end up with soft images. I have got some of those myself but I'll try to get as sharp images as I can. Once you set it just press OK. Everything's enabled. Aspect ratio, always leave on what it is because you can always crop the image down to fit it in through um, Adobe Premiere or even Photoshop as well. There's a way to do time lapses on there. LRT time lapse, brilliant program to use. Free download for a trial version. You can stitch up to 400 photos together, but then you can import it to Lightroom to do all your change. And there is demo uh, demonstration on how to do that. I'll put that on the link below. If you like the channel, uh, please like and subscribe. I'm thinking about doing more little bits like this now. I'm more familiar with the camera setup and a bit more knowledgeable with what I'm doing. Not a professional in the sense of tuition, but you know, every little helps and all that lot. So hopefully I'll see the subscriptions start going up and I'll start doing more videos and tutorials. Thank you.